let's look at a snag case. So we're looking at a second order differential equation. Dependent variable is y and your independent variable is x. x. You have a non-homogeneous or forced system differential equation because it is equal to 9. So your solution is going to be made up of two parts. Your complementary function as well as your particular integral. Your equation you can write as d squared minus 3d times y equals 2, 9, using d operators. So we're going to start off with our complementary function. So 4ycf that is equal to 0. From the auxiliary equation, we can get the solution for your complementary function. So in this case, you can factorize, which means that D is either is 0 and D is 3. So you have values for your roots which are real and different which means your complementary function is going to look like this. All right. Now I'm going to write the complementary function in the corner because I'm going to refer back to it at a later stage. So let's just put it here. Pocket. Right, and we're going to move on to our particular integral. So now we want to find a expression for your particular integral so that when you find your first derivative and your second derivative and you simplify, your equation must balance, which means your left-hand side is going to have to simplify down to 9 or some constant value. So, let's choose a trial function for your particular integral. And I'm going to guess that it's going to be some constant value, right? Because it's similar to previous examples that we've done. So, my first derivative is going to be 0 and... My second derivative is also going to be 0. And if I label that number 1, I'm going to substitute into 1. So what do I get? You get 0 minus 3 times 0 equals to 9. So what we get is 0 being equal to 9, which makes no sense. All right? So this cannot be cannot be, right? So we take a red line here. That's not possible. Our equation doesn't balance, which means the trial function that we've got is not the right one. And that is what a trial function is. Each time you're just testing a function. If it doesn't work out, you move on to a different form of that trial function. So your particular integral being a constant doesn't work. Right? So let's try a different trial function. So, this nice. let's try, instead of a constant value, let's try a linear function. Like that. So your first derivative is now going to be C, and your second derivative is going to be zero. So again, we substitute into one and you get zero minus three times c equals nine, which means that c ends up being minus three. Right? So this one works. This trial function works. Right? So we then know that our particular integral is going to be minus 3x 
and we can find the solution for y. And that's going to be a, b, e to the 3x minus 3x. Right? Now, I just want to take you back a moment to the previous uh, trial function that we tested. Do you remember we tried the particular integral being a constant value? Now, notice the form of this trial function. The form of the trial function is a constant. If you compare this form to the terms in your complementary function, you'll see in your complementary function, your first term's form is a constant value. Your second term's form is a exponential value. Now, whenever you have your trial function being the same form as one of the terms in your complementary function, then this trial function is not going to work, right? It's almost like a forewarning for you, like you can tell that it's not going to work. If you go ahead and you don't notice that, you in any case are going to find that it's not going to work out. But it's a good way to see before the time whether or not it will work. Okay, so as soon as you find this, you know you need to try a different form. So we started off with a constant uh, with a constant form for the trial function, then we moved on to a linear form. If the linear form didn't work, you would then go to a to the power 2. If power 2 doesn't work, you go cube. And that's how you move until you find a trial function that is going to work for you. Remember, you always start off with simple and you move to the more complicated trial functions. Right? So then we found the solution for our it's, this is our general solution. Again, if you, need, if you have to find your particular solution, you would then need your two initial conditions.